What's good? Ooh, hold up, wait a minute. Let me get the focus right. Alright, what's good, people? I'm back. I took a couple days off, Memorial Day weekend and all. I went to Ocean City, Maryland, and it was pretty dope. I can't, I can't admit that. I know I should have vlogged it, but I really wasn't feeling the vlog. And honestly, people, like I told y'all in my last vlog, if I'm not feeling something and I'm not in a mood, I'm not gonna force myself to vlog anything because then this is gonna put out terrible quality for y'all and y'all gonna be bored watching the video and y'all gonna get comments or y'all gonna start commenting my stuff. Uh, oh, Stu, you falling off. Uh, you trash. Your mustache is trash. Uh, I don't wanna hear all that. But, um, one thing I do want to hit on is I've been getting a lot of messages, mainly on my Instagram. People ask me what equipment I use, what software I use, and I think the best way I can open this vlog up is talking about my equipment I use. I mean, I spent a pretty penny on most of this stuff, and, you know, if someone's trying to get into vlogging or photography or film or whatever, you know, and they want some insight on some, some good quality products, I'll, I'll love to help. So I'm about to switch over to my cell phone so y'all can see what I got all in here and on my computer. Ow. Yep. Okay, so now that we got the cameras switched over, now we can go ahead and start this review. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the camera that I have is the Canon Rebel 6Ti camera. Um, when I first bought this camera, it was about, about like six something. High six, mid six, um, it came with, you know, the camera itself. It came with the, not this lens that was on here. It came with this lens right here, which is the 18, 55 millimeter. This is like the standard lens that the camera comes with when you buy it. But then I went out and bought a uh, 10, 18 millimeter lens. Um, it's more of like a wide angle lens. I also bought this, uh, the battery pack on the bottom. It holds two batteries inside, so that means I don't have to change out batteries continuously back to back to back when they die out. It's just I can just keep rolling through. And actually, when I filmed my North Carolina trip, I did not charge my batteries whatsoever because I left my charger inside my car. And I thought I left it back in Virginia, but it was in my car the whole time. So it lasted about three days without charging it. Um, I didn't really have to like start uh, conserving my battery until Sunday afternoon. Um, but overall, this is a really good camera. Oh, I also bought this, this little tripod grab thing. This thing comes in handy in a lot of situations. I was thinking about swapping it out with something else, but for right now, it, it gets the job done. My mic that I have on here is a Rode mic. So when you first buy this mic, it comes with a, uh, it comes with this type of uh, windshield on it, which is kind of, to me, it's useless. It's just the standard, so it's a, factory model you know it comes with the mic it doesn't really do anything but you can go online and spend about an extra thirty dollars to get this thing and it's called a dead cat windshield i know that's a terrible name to give something like this but if you really look at it what does it look like a dead cat yeah um it does shake kind of when you first get it but i mean it's not really that big of a deal the next thing I'm going to talk about is this nifty little film bag that came with the camera. So it's this. Now, if you're a vlogger, my personal preference, I would tell you to get a film bag. It comes in handy. Instead of walking around with your camera, you risk dropping it, banging against stuff. Sometimes when you, you're vlogging stuff, you don't vlog everything or you get tired of holding your camera around. This comes in handy because you just break your camera down. You got these little pouches in here. You got this top part where you can hold your, your pins your lens pin you know screw the top part this is like to get scratches and scuffs off and you pop this other end off and it's like a little little brush now females this is not for your makeup if i catch any female in my bag trying to use this to put on your makeup we will have a really 
really big problem. Last time I tried to film, I did not have enough memory and I had to delete some stuff and that was just a bad day because of some really good stuff and I couldn't decide what I wanted to delete. To delete, excuse me. So I learned, always have extra memory cards on you, you never know. But uh, now I'm about to switch back to the camera because I don't want to drain my battery on my phone. Even though I know it can last a long time, I'm still going to change over because that's why I got the camera to vlog. So, give me one second. Yep. All right. There we go. So let it focus a little bit. Anywho, so today I decided to take you guys to the skate park with me. Now, it's been a while since I've been to the skate park. Um, I went yesterday and I was going to vlog it. But I just got so into it, I did not want to have to deal with the camera. Now, some of you already may notice that I am an avid BMXer. I love BMXing. Like, BMXing was my first love. I first started BMXing back in 2007, 2008, which my homeboy Drew got me into it. And from then on, I I've been hooked. Uh, everywhere I've been in the Marine Corps, I've taken my bike with me. Uh, it was a period of time where that's the only thing I had was my bike. I didn't have a car and all my homeboys, my homegirls had cars and I, I couldn't whip like everybody else. I had a whip on a bike. So uh, this is kind of like my humbling tool. It makes me, it, it reminds me of the time where I had to wake up at like five o'clock in the morning and ride my bike all the way to McDonald's just to work probably like an eight hour shift and turn back around and ride my, back, my bike back all the way home. But yeah, it's, it was definitely a humbling experience. So I, I keep that and I'm always keep it. And everybody's gonna say, oh, you eventually go stop BMXing. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna stop BMXing. As long as my body is, is gonna let me get on that bike and pedal, I'm gonna continue to BMX. I'm gonna continue. Just a quick glimpse. This is my baby right here. This is my baby right here. This is my day one right here. Got me from point A to point B. Of course, over the years I had different bikes, but in all it's pretty much the same thing honestly this is like a, a new setup for me usually i have all black everything uh, black frame black traditional tires and this and that now i had other schemes where it's like all black frame with like different color tires but i've actually this is this is the first step away from me going to all black theme and i honestly i'm, I'm kind of liking it hey, and also if you ever see me out on quantico dc any skate park wherever on my bike please give me a shout out i'll give you love back trust me don't be shy i hate when people see me and then they, they wait to the last minute and mention something about oh i saw your vlog yo show me love right then and there I, don't be scared come up to me trust me i'm not gonna put you on blast or anything like I love that stuff. That stuff motivates me to put out more video. But right now, I'm about to pack up my bike. I'm probably about to tune it up a little bit from yesterday because I kind of went in on my bike yesterday. So I'm gonna tune it up, probably change one of my spokes and then pack my bike up and head to the skate park where we got some sunlight. All right, give me one minute. So we're here at Betts Park. Finally made it. Probably got a couple more hours of riding. Um, I'm gonna get a quick warm up in my favorite little section over there. Yeah, this is like my local park that I usually come to when I do get a chance to ride, when I'm not vlogging or traveling or working too much. See that? It's no good. It doesn't do much harm, but it bothers me because I know it's there. I get a little flowy flow on. Redo. Redo. Oh, one of them days. This is what happens when you're off the bike for a long period of time. A long period of time. Oh! Usually there's more people here, but probably people are at work or something like that. You got the little kids over there. 
from what I'm gonna say. You should go ask him to do something. All right, I'm gonna come to her. But tomorrow we'll quit. Foot slip. <laughs> See, this is why I wish I had my stickers. The little kids over there asked me about my YouTube. Oh my god. Ah. So, that's pretty much a wrap for today. Had fun. Work and riding has got me tired. I'm about to go back to the crib boat right now. To the barracks, that is. Probably give me something to eat. Watch a little bit of videos, work on this video. I'm gonna try to post it later on, sometime this week. Also, I wanna give a shout out to all my new subscribers. And here they are right about here. If you guys like my like this video please share comment like and subscribe to my page or to my channel excuse me I always say page it's not a it's not a page it's a channel I got a real bad habit of saying that but anyways until the next vlog y'all Stu out Nigga, shit, every day. Who's the niggas that was out on the